Okay, once we are in coding rooms, what do we do next? Now, here on the top here, we've got overview dash test course. Test course is the name of the course. Your course is going to be called something different, but it be, you know, your, your screen will look something similar like this. On the side here, you've got the names of the chapters of the course. This course has only one chapter that we can see called test lab. If I click on the arrow on the side, we'll see the contents of this chapter. So we here we've got master underscore test underscore lab. If I double click that, something else will come up and we need to be patient as it comes up. OK, this has come up here. So we see at the top we've got the words Jupiter and here we've got master underscore test underscore lab dot IPYMB. OK, so this is what you get now. So what we do here on the right hand side, there's this kind of diagonal arrow besides the words or the text CR2. So here, if I click on this arrow here or double click it, and again, we have to be patient as it loads up. OK, it's loaded up. Now, here we see the name of the notebook again, master underscore test underscore lab dot IPYMB. And we see a box here. We tick that box and we double click this, um, the name of the notebook. And what we get here is that we get the notebook opened. And this is up top. This is Jupiter. This is known as a Jupiter notebook. The name is Munda master underscore test underscore lab. And let's just look at the structure of it. Here we see um, sort of a title, computing lab test introduction with some kind of words inside here and here what we see here is example one arithmetic operations edition and this is an example program here um, in order to run it i it, it's highlighted here in the green box i go up here run and it gives me 22 why does it give us 22 apples equals 10 bananas equals 12 total equals apples plus bananas print total. So apples is 10, bananas is 12, 10 plus 12 is 22, which total equals 22, print total, so it prints 22. Now, question 1a, type in the above program and get it to run. So I am just going to type in the core of the program, apples equals 10, bananas equals 12, total equals apples plus bananas print total and how do I run it well it's highlighted and I go up top and I click run and see I get 22 here now we need to save this if we go up top we see last checkpoint four minutes ago but look we've just made a modification to the notebook now so we need to save it so we go on the up here can you see the box here it says save and checkpoint i click on that and can you see it says last checkpoint a few seconds ago auto saved so this is saved hopefully question 1b come out of the system go back to your course and you should see the notebook with your new program in it so how do i do that i go up top here you see those arrows there I click there so I am now coming out of the notebook we're back to this point here let's get back into the notebook how do we do that so we click up here and again we have to be uh, patient here and I click on that box there I double click there and you see question 1a there is a program there where before, um, you know, when we fired up the notebook, it was not there. OK, so this is the notebook. Now, you can see here, example one, question 1A, question 1B. We've got example two. We've got a, a question which relates to question example two. We've got example three, question three, example four, question four, all the way to question eight there. 
So you work your way through the notebook. Your teacher will help you. Um, you work your way through the notebook. As you write each programme, you save you, you save what you do along the way all the time. Now, when you are happy with what you have done, what you do is you come out of the notebook like this. And again, we have to be um, patient. And can you see the submit button here? At the moment, your work is unsubmitted. When you finish the notebook and you're happy with it, you submit. So you click here. See, it says page submitted successfully. So well done.